What is up, everybody? How you doing? I am your humble guide, Stagtastic, coming back at you in Way of the Hunter with three more powerful tips and strategies for beginners to intermediate hunters. If you fall into one of these two categories, then pay attention because I am going to reveal three of my most powerful strategies that I utilize every single time I go into the woods. If you have not done any of the three things that I'm about to mention, then you need to stop what you're doing, drop all of your hunts and your plans, and start doing these things immediately to help you become a better hunter and ultimately if you do these three things in order these will make your hunting experience much more enjoyable if you've not seen my last video where I lay out five additional tips for you all then I would encourage you to go back and check that as well I'll leave a link in the description below so without further ado here is the first strategy that I want to bring to your attention you need to reveal and explore as much of the map that you are on as possible. When you embark on a map, there are points of interest that you can go and unlock and explore immediately. If you have not gone through the maps and unlocked every single point of interest available to you, then you need to go and do this right away. By visiting all the points of interest and revealing the entire map early on, this will allow you to view and experience all that the map has to offer in the shortest amount of time. And this will also boost your confidence if you feel like the maps like Nez Perce or Transylvania are a little bit big and overwhelming. In addition to boosting your confidence, you're going to be revealing all of the campsites and hunting stands available to you on that map. Finding campsites is a vital part of being able to make the most out of your time that you have to hunt on any particular day. Being able to fast travel to campsites and cabins you, that you find early on will save you a lot of time going forward. In addition, utilize the information that the hunting stands indicate there. If there is a hunting stand in a particular area, then it means that that spot in general is a very good spot to find wildlife and a good spot to search for these need zones that you're looking for. Once you have visited all the points of interest on the map, then you can go back and do all the missions that are necessary to unlock and hunt a particular area that maybe you don't have permission to hunt yet. Of course, if you don't feel like doing these hunts and objectives to unlock those areas, then you can always purchase the permits in the shop. Can visiting all the point of interest on a particular map be time consuming? The answer is yes, especially on a map like Transylvania. But I guarantee you that this is the most beneficial and quickest way to get a head start for your hunting objectives. And in some cases, it even helps you complete some of the campaign objectives quicker because you already know exactly where to go. So visit all those point of interest early on and you won't have to worry about them ever again. The second strategy that I wanna encourage you to start doing is that anytime you are near water, you need to take a few minutes and analyze the area for drinking sites. Because here's the deal, all of the big wildlife game that you want to hunt need water. Finding their eating and resting sites may prove to be pretty difficult early on, but you will never ever be without wildlife to hunt if you just take the time to focus on water when and if you are near it. I personally intentionally search as much water as I can early on by literally running up and down long rivers and lakes, mashing my analyze key to unlock as many drinking sites as I can. Now you don't have to be like me, but people always ask how I have so many animal locations unlocked in so little time. And my answer is because I search water at every opportunity I get. Now once you have an animal's drinking site location discovered, then you can plan your hunts with that much more confidence. As you become more confident, then I would encourage you to start walking more and driving less. This way you will become even more familiar with the area that you're in and you can start to locate more feeding and resting need zones. But it all starts around water, so unlock your point of interest early 
early on. Search water at every chance that you get. And lastly, I just alluded to it, you need to plan your hunts. Too many players do not plan their hunts and they go out willy-nilly hoping to come across what they want to see. Although this does happen, it can happen from time to time, it is not as effective as intentionally choosing a specific animal to hunt, choosing a particular time of day based on the animal's need zone times, and then choosing the proper weapon or weapons and gear that you're going to be bringing on the hunt. Oftentimes, people will not be prepared and they'll be caught out under or even over equipped because they did not plan on what they're hunting. For example, in Nez Perce, the swamps are home to several kinds of waterfowl and moose primarily. So for example, if I want to go hunting in this area, whether it's for a mission or I'm just going out hunting for fun, then I would not bring a tier 5 weapon. I would plan on bringing the 300 Win Mag for those moose and a shotgun for all the waterfowl and probably a moose collar and a duck collar. Or if I was specifically hunting for waterfowl only and I wasn't worried about hunting anything else, then I may just want to bring a 12 gauge or a 16 gauge or maybe even both and bring my duck calls. Now the thing that a lot of people worry about is that, hey, what if I run into something that I didn't plan on hunting while I'm out in the wild? Remember, you can always, always, always use the back of your vehicle to change out the gear that you're using and refill your ammunition. So let me encourage you to really think about where you're gonna be fast traveling to versus where you want to be driving to. That way, if you do come across something that you, that you weren't planning on hunting and your plans change, you don't don't have to go all the way back to the main lodge to switch out your gear. So again, plan your hunts carefully. Be methodical about it. It doesn't take but 30 seconds. Figure out what you're going after. Figure out what time of day you're going to be hunting them and then take the proper amount of gear. Nothing more, nothing less than what you need. If you utilize these three tips in this order, then I guarantee you that you're going to set yourself up for the most success on whatever map you play. Visit all those point of interest and unlock the restricted hunting locations as fast as you can. Search as much water as possible whenever and as often as you can. Like I said, if I know that there's an area that I want to hunt a lot, I am intentionally looking around water for those need zones. And lastly, intentionally plan your hunts. Make sure you're taking the right gear for what you're going after and be prepared for what kind of wildlife you even might think you could have a chance of coming into contact with. With that said, I really hope that you put these strategies to good use. I cannot tell you how valuable these three strategies are to me. Does some of this take time on the front end? Yes, especially all the scouting and finding those point of interest, but not as much time as it would take if you tried to do this any other way. This is the best and only way to do this. If you ever need help for anything, do not be afraid to ask questions because like I always say, I am your humble guide, Stagtastic. I am here for you. I hope to see you all back here real soon. Happy hunting and take care.